Yeah, um, I believe there was a uh, live scoring on 15th green, and then I looked at the screen, it says four under, and I was three under that time. And then coming to 16 and 17, I believe it's probably the uh, hardest holes on the, on, the, on the golf course. And then I made a good par in 16, and then 17, um, hit a bad tee shot with my five iron, made a bogey there. And then now I'm talking to my dad, hey dad, I need an eagle on 18. And then he's like, chill out, kid. Just hit a good tee shot first, and we'll see how it goes. And then hit a good tee ball on 18, but then I was blocked by the tree. And then we're like, okay, we got we need a miracle shot to, to get it close. And hit an amazing shot there, and it made a great putt, and I'm, I'm happy. And so just standing on 18 tee, knowing you had to do that, what, what went through your mind? You know what? I was like, I mean, I was talking to my dad the whole time. Dad, do I, I mean... Well, what's going on, man? I know, I know, I can play golf, but if I miss a cut now, that's like f like five tournaments straight. You know, <laughs> I, I don't want that. And he's like, I mean, he put, he put me in a good spot. Hey, just just drink some water, just chill. And then we talked about the flight coming here, and then you know we focused on something else because um, I was just putting, I guess, putting too much pressure in the moment. And my dad did a great job uh, handling the pressure uh, moment. Yeah. And talking about knowing how to play golf, your college career was unbelievable. That transition from college to, like you said, it was you know four missed cuts in a row. What's what was your mindset coming into this week, knowing the kind of player that you are? Yeah, I mean, I I know um, I can play good golf, but then um, that four tournament, two two in Bahamas, Panama, Colombia, kind of hurt me. Um, you know, I lost a little bit of confidence. Not gonna lie, and. You know, I was I was struggling, um, but then I look back. Um, if I work hard, I know I can get it up there. Um, it was just a step by step. Um, I've been working hard and hopefully um, make the cut this week. I always have a couple more minutes, but um, but yeah, it would be it would be a good it would be a good one. Yeah. That's awesome. And too, like I mean, in terms of learnings on those first four events, what was your biggest takeaway for yourself, like? Into this, you know, is there something that stuck out to you? What did you need to work on? That sort of thing. Yeah, um, for me, it was I'll play really good front nine, really good, um, good holes. But then I'll make a couple of small mistakes, and then I'll get mad, and then I'll just you know put way too much pressure that I shouldn't be. And yeah, that was that was a key. And then just have a good time with my dad. You know, I was like. Uh, um, I'll be honest, like, I was fighting every time with my dad, and then this week I'll be like, you know, Sammy, just, just chill, just, you know, enjoy the moment with your dad, and just have fun. That was a, that was a takeaway. And you talk about your dad a lot and making the decision to have him on the back. What does it mean to have him out there with you in just moments like this where he was there for that huge fun? Yeah, I mean, honestly, um, I actually fired him after a, a tournament in Panama. <laughs> And I heard a local caddy in Colombia, and he had no idea how to speak English. And it was kind of hard for me to communicate with him. Because for me, I, I like throwing jokes when I play golf, you know, easy going. But then I'm like, wow, I miss my dad now. And then after Colombia, I texted him. He's like, hey, dad, I need you. Um, I need your love. Come back home. Yeah. <laughs> And what was his response to you? I told you so. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I knew that was going to happen, and I'm here for you, son. Let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> Good stuff. Yeah. That's awesome. Awesome. Thank you.